Cresco Labs has diversified with the addition of a new member on its board, Juice Giant Ocean Spray is getting into the CBD space, and Nevada is set to part in tens of thousands with cannabis convictions. It's Friday, June 12th, and this is your Tricomes Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricomes.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your Morning Buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First up today, Cresco Labs diversifies its board of directors with the addition of an NBA Players Union executive. Cresco Labs, a Chicago-based multi-state operator, appointed Michelle Roberts to its board of directors, making the executive director of the NBA Players Union the first person of color on the board. Roberts arrives at the company at a time when the death of George Floyd, a man who died at the hands of Minneapolis police, has prompted calls for companies to do more to diversify their organizations and support black communities. The announcement comes a few days after Cresco's co-founder and former president, Joe Caltabiano, resigned from the board, thus cutting all executive ties with the company he helped found in 2013. Cresco CEO and co-founder Charlie Bocktail said in a news release, We are advocates of a more diverse and inclusive cannabis industry. Next up, juice and snack giant Ocean Spray launches CBD sparkling water in Colorado. According to a Hemp Industry Daily article, the Middleborough, Massachusetts company says the sparkling CBD water was developed by Ocean Spray's new carry-on brand, first reported by Food Business News. The flavors are called Elevate and Descend, one with 10 milligrams of CBD and the other with 20 milligrams of CBD. Ocean Spray's Lighthouse Incubator developed the carry-on brand. The incubator was created to accelerate products in health and wellness. We understood there was a gap in the market for a trustworthy CBD beverage that tastes good and also helps calm the mind without unwanted side effects, carry-on co-developer Josh Wiseman said. The company did not say exactly where the waters would be sold. And we will end the day with news that the Nevada governor has introduced a measure to pardon tens of thousands with cannabis convictions. According to Marijuana Moment, tens of thousands of Nevada residents who've previously been convicted of low-level marijuana possession could receive blanket pardons under a new resolution introduced by the governor. Governor Steve Sisolak announced the development on Thursday, stating that he placed the clemency resolution on the Board of Pardons Commissioner's agenda for next week. Last year, the governor signed a bill providing people with cannabis convictions a means to petition the court for expungements, but this resolution would offer proactive pardons for anyone convicted of possession up to an ounce of cannabis. The people of Nevada have decided that possession of small amounts of marijuana is not a crime, Sisolak said, referencing the state's 2016 vote to legalize cannabis for adult use. If approved, this resolution will clear the state for thousands of people who bear the stigma of a conviction for actions that have been now decriminalized. While pardons don't void convictions, they can restore rights such as the right to vote, own a firearm, or serve on a jury. The governors of Washington State and Illinois have both issued pardons for cannabis offenses since their states legalized the plant. Meanwhile, other top state officials have recently made arguments that marijuana reform is a necessary civil rights issue that's particularly important to pursue as a means of addressing racial inequities. And that was today's buzz. Have a comment on any of today's stories? Share your thoughts on trichomes.com when you create your profile and join the cannabis community. And be sure to keep up with us on all social media platforms. You can also subscribe to our podcast and the Tricomes YouTube channel for daily content. My name is David Fortson. Take care and enjoy your weekend.